So you're gonna be kind of like over here. And I'm gonna be like, like do something like that. You good? Oh god, oh god. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a huge Ulta haul. So big that the handles broke. I have a hole in the bag. So I figured I would share this video with you guys. I went to Ulta and bought a bunch of different things that I haven't tried that I wanted to share with you guys. Also get your opinions on what you guys want to see. Really quick, I did do a tutorial on this eye look. I did change up the lip color for this video and the lip color is the Smashbox Liquid Lip in spoiler alert so that's what I have on my lips in this video I'm gonna have another giveaway there will be one winner all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel also my blog channel and leave a comment down below letting me know what you like the most about this video and how I can contact you if you are the winner I'm about to show you the prizes real quick so the first thing is this little travel size it's a 10 this is a really great leave-in product highly recommend it you'll also get this Tarte magic set which is really gorgeous you will also get these two packs of Tardis lip paints you will get this Mac snowball lip bag. This is really cute. It's from their holiday collection. You will also get this planner set from Too Faced. It's like eyeshadows. It has a little planner inside there. You get a better than sex mascara sample. Um, this is a really great little gift set as well. Big thing that you guys will be getting in this giveaway or one person will be getting in this giveaway is the Dry Bar Wrap Party Curling Iron. This is the one that I love. I have been using. Mine is actually right here. Um, I actually used it today in a different video. So all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, my main channel, and my vlog channel, which I will have it linked down below. And all you have to do is let me know in the comments what you liked most about the video and let me know how I can contact you. That is all the prizes. Again, if you want to know how to enter, then all you have to do is check down below in the description box. So I think that's it. If you guys want to see my Ulta haul, then let's just go ahead and get started. Right. I've got things like hair care, skin care, makeup. We've got a lot of it. You wanna see this? Mm. Mm. So first off, I did stock up on my Vita Liberata self tanning mitts. I love these. These are my favorite to apply self tanner with. Also got this. This was a $20 product and it's the NYX Beyond Basic Eyeshadow and Pigment Palette. You have a matte liquid lip. You have a eyeshadow palette with six different shades and then a matte liquid liner. So I don't know. This just spoke to me. I think these are so pretty and then the pictures on the back were gorgeous as well. I stocked up on some more dry shampoo. Batiste is my absolute favorite dry shampoo. It's from the drugstore. It's affordable. Um, I just find that it really soaks up the oil, you know, and it's just, it's so good. I did get a high-end shampoo because I wanted to try this out. I love this brand. This is the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. It's Volume 25's new best friend. I don't know, I don't know what that is, um, but I really love Kenra. I wanted to try this out, so I did pick up this one. If I don't like it, of course, I'll return it. You know, I just like trying new things, and I figured I hadn't tried Kenra's dry shampoo, so I would test this one out. Okay, moving on, I did get this for Davis. This is a stocking stuffer. What? Ooh, okay. So I also got this hair mask from Pureology. I really like Pureology. I use the Hydrate line. I use the shampoo and conditioner. And then I also got this one, which is the Superfood Treatment. Basically, it's just like a mask, I'm guessing. This is a really small tub. This smells like the beach. It smells like coconut oil and just like I don't know it just smells very beachy so I love this I love the smell of this I can't wait to try it. I think I'm really gonna like this okay so moving on to something a little bit different I've seen this everywhere let me know if you guys want me to do a video on this and like test it out and see how it works but this is the Clinique fit workout makeup basically I have the Clinique fit be matte on the mat <laughs> uh, this is like the mattifying foundation and then we also have the mattifying moisturizer and then we also have the post-workout neutralizing face powder which I would just use anyways because my face is red from rosacea I don't know I figured I would just test them out and see if they're like good I mean I don't wear makeup to the gym all the time unless I'm doing like a wear test or something and I'm wearing makeup and I'm going to the gym like it just happens like that sometimes I normally don't put makeup on to go to the gym so I don't know I could test these out and see how they work See if they're good and let you guys know. Um, I think the packaging is pretty cool though. I kind of like this packaging. Kim K had this sort of packaging too and I thought it was really nice. Um, most people didn't like it but I just, something about this packaging, I like it. So I saw these um, in the St. Tropez area and I was really interested to test it out. It's the 24 hour instant bronzer and you have the wash off 
face and body lotion. This one's, these both are medium to dark. So I got the lotion one and I also got the spray. I really love stuff like this, especially in the winter time. Like if I want to wear a dress, but there's really no sense in me self tanning my legs, like wasting that self tan on my legs for one night, I will just use stuff like this. Or if my self tan is wearing off my chest, I'll spray something like this all over and kind of help color correct everything. I have like a whole little shelf over here with like self tanning products. I also have the um, one night only oil type thing, whatever it's called from St. Tropez, and I really like that too. So I wanted to add these to my collection and test them out because I've never seen them before. Next up, I have this Julep Blank Canvas Mattifying Treatment Primer. I'm a sucker for anything that's as mattifying, of course, because I do have oily skin. And I haven't tried anything, like any makeup stuff from Julep, so I figured I would test this out, and I figured this would be a great first product to try to see if it works well. I feel like mattifying primers can kind of be hard to ace, so we will see. Next up, we have a skincare item. This is the Philosophy Pore Extractor Mask. What really got me to get this is because it says on the side, in only two uses, see virtually blackhead-free skin. Now, I get bad blackheads like around my nose, especially in this area. It's the kind of thing where I have to go get a facial to really get them extracted. So I figured I would test this out. It's, it's Sounds really good. I've never tried anything like this. It just says featuring purifying white clay, salicylic acid, and natural exfoliants. Our creamy, rich formula gently warms skin upon contact and helps draw out impurities, helping to scrub away blackheads and shrink the look of pores. So this kind of sounds to me like glam glow now that I read about it, but we will see how this works. I do love philosophy. I think they have really great stuff. I also got this. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Juice Beauty. This is another skincare brand. So it's Juice Beauty, the organic solution, and it's the stem cellular lifting neck cream. I've been getting bad wrinkles. I've had wrinkles like this on my neck for a while now just because I exfoliate a lot I feel like. And when I was younger I didn't really apply enough moisturizer to like my neck and chest. So I wanted something like this that's specifically for like your neck and your chest and stuff like that. And it just sounded really good and I figured I would test it out. It's formulated to tighten and smooth the delicate skin around the neck and decollete for a more sculpted youthful look which is what I'm going for. I'm going to try this tonight. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. A couple things from Models Own. I got these color chrome eyeshadow kits. I will, I will be dead honest. I thought I got one, but I obviously got two of them. So we have Golden Light and Copper Luster. And basically it comes with an intensifying primer, a mixing tray, and the chrome eyeshadows. You're supposed to use the primer and the eyeshadow, kind of mix it together to give it that really intense effect. Who had something like this? Was it, oh, who was it in Sephora? Somebody in Sephora had this. Something very similar. Um, but it's just a little pouch and you kind of just keep it all together. And this one, like I said, is the Golden Lights color. Wow. You're supposed to use the mixing medium or like the primer or whatever, but that's pretty intense. So I'm excited to try these, see how they work. I will let you guys know. Maybe I'll do a drugstore first impressions tutorial using a lot of new drugstore products because there's I have so much right now. Another drugstore product is the NYX Born to Glow Highlighter Palette. I guess I'll swatch it now. I wasn't going to, but I kind of want to. I did get the, what other one did I get? The Makeup Revolution Highlighter Palette, and I wasn't the biggest fan of that, so I figured I would test this out and see if it was good. This is what it looks like. You just have six different pans, and doesn't look too terrible. I will again save this for a drugstore video, and we will see how this works on its own. I also got these aromatherapy shower tablets. I thought Davis and I would really enjoy these because um, we love the smell of eucalyptus. So, you know, just to kind of wake you up in the morning. I don't think these are super expensive. You get four tablets, and it says you place the tablet in your shower floor or shelf when it gets wet, but it's not in the main water stream as it fizzes, the aroma releases into the shower and surrounding bathroom. So, I snagged these. They had a few different scents like lavender and some other ones, um, which I really like lavender too, but I figured eucalyptus would be the best one um, for the shower. So got a little packet of these for the bathroom. We have quite a bit of makeup left. So I had to restock on my makeup wipes. These are the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I actually have some MAC ones that I got in PR and I do not like them. So had to restock on this because they take my makeup off. I also purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner. I'm pretty sure I haven't tried this and I didn't even know she had a gel liner like this. Like it's a crayon liner, but I, I don't know, I didn't know she had this. If you're wondering where my sweater is from, it's from my boutique. You can see it down below, but 
it looks good. I mean, it's kind of like a standard black liner. The Maybelline one that I have is a little bit creamier. I will definitely test this out and let you guys know because I do have watery eyes. Um, so I'm always looking for the next best thing when it comes to eyeliner. I also have this LA Girl Fine Line Long Lasting Felt Tip Liquid Liner. And it has like a smaller felt tip, which is good for a wing liner. So... Yeah, that is it right there. It's a nice thin line, so I will let you guys know. So I actually found this one at checkout, and I found this one in the Makeup Revolution aisle. So this is like the Golden Bar Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette, kind of like a spin-off of the Too Faced one. I don't really know what it looks like. The picture on the back really isn't the best, so I'm hoping it's pretty. I could have gotten the one that's like the brown chocolate bar, but I, I don't know. Just the picture on the back didn't look too good. We will see. Actually, Too Faced came out with another palette which is the chocolate gold palette which looks really pretty um i guess i'll swatch it in this video for you guys too i didn't purchase it but it came in pr this is what it looks holy did they coordinate this okay i didn't know it had like the melting chocolate i knew that it had this little bar but hold on who's copying who i don't know who came out with it first but normally makeup revolution you know has makeup inspired by higher end things but this just came out so i don't know this is what it looks like oh it's all shimmers Ugh. so that's it right there i will probably not use this palette a lot to be dead ass honest with you these aren't really similar to each other at all they're pretty different um this one's the Too faced one this one's makeup revolution i just don't i don't know they look I don't know. That's a makeup revolution. I, I don't know. I might keep it and see how it works for you guys. Let me know if you want to see a video um, with the makeup revolution one. I want to swatch this one as well. I've been really curious. I was kind of on the fence of if I wanted to keep this or give it away just because I am not going to use this palette all the time. Like, look at the colors. They have some matte shades right here, which is really great, you know, for transition shades and stuff. So you can make a complete look with this palette, which I think is great. I just don't love the color combo. They feel dry. I mean, they look really pretty. But they feel dry and chunky. I don't know, guys. We'll see. We'll see how they wear. Yeah. I'll try them out for you guys. I mean, they do look pretty. This green is absolutely stunning, actually. This, like, olive color. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know. What do you guys, you want to see a video? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, now this is the Makeup Revolution Bronze and Glow Chocolate Bar Bronzer and Highlighter. So it's just like a little mini. Oh no, is mine broke? I don't know how it got broke. Oh, what the? F no, it's just cracked a little bit. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You have the bronzer and the highlight. That is not bronzing me. Yeah, this is probably going to be returned. That's not going to bronze me whatsoever. So that's the bronzer. At first I thought I dipped into the highlight. That's the highlight. The highlight looks really pretty. Huh. But then this is the bronzer. Like, where'd it go? <laughs> Alright, so I repurchased the YSL Mon Paris perfume. I love this perfume. I have it over here on my um, shelf and I purchased this because I'm almost out of the bottle that I have which is so crazy. I have not gone through a whole perfume bottle in so long and that one I am almost completely out of so that's how I know I love it. I had to purchase another one and I just highly recommend it. I was going to gift these to people for Christmas. I normally don't give perfumes because sometimes people's scents are different but this is one of those scents where I'm like if you don't like it like why? Why? It's so good. If you don't like this perfume, tell me why down below. All right, just a few more things, guys. I repurchased the LA Girl Pro Powder. This is the HD Powder in Banana Yellow. This is a really, really great powder from the drugstore. Highly recommend it. It doesn't accentuate pores, anything like that. It sets your makeup really well. And it has that pale yellow tint to it, so it kind of highlights as well. Great, great, great powder. I went through a whole one of these, so I had to repurchase another one. Also repurchased the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. I have not used this in a very long time. I just kind of wanted to dabble into it and see if I still really liked it. I've been using the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade that I am obsessed with, which I sh actually should have repurchased today because I'm almost out. But I decided to purchase this instead, and I'm just going to test it out and see which one I like more. Do I like the Makeup Revolution more? The Anastasia? I feel like they're all the same. But we'll see. I have the Makeup Revolution one on now, and I think it's, like, one of the best. I repurchased this because I really wanted to try this back out and see if I like it. It's the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. It has a pump now, which is so good. They're getting fancy on us. I'm really excited about it. So I got the shade Golden Caramel. 
Of course, I got the Combo Oily one, and I just want to see if I really like it. You know, I want to see if I loved it as much as I used to, if maybe they reformulated anything. Um, I just kind of wanted to test it out again, so I purchased this bad boy. Isn't this like a throwback? This is a major throwback for me. So I have four more things to share with you guys, and I did get another foundation to try out because I haven't tried any Laura Geller foundations out, so let me know if you have and if you like them. But this is the Laura Geller Cover Lock cream foundation. So it says create the smooth even complexion you crave with true full coverage. This vitamin enriched formula effortlessly blends away discoloration, scars, even tattoos while locking out aging pollutants and environmental stressors for all day flawless coverage. So it doesn't say that it's mattifying but I like the fact that it says like it's super full coverage. So yeah I just wanted to try it out and see how it wears. I got the shade medium. And it just looks like this. Just a little squeezy tube. One fluid ounce. It just looks super tiny. And then I repurchased the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark Biscuit. I wanted this to be a little bit lighter. I guess I wasn't paying attention when I was picking this out, but I wanted something a little bit lighter. <laughs> so, uh gonna have to return that one. I do really like the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This one right here. I use the shade Medium 1 Custard. Highly recommend it. I'm wearing it now. It's like one of my all-time favorites. Honestly, I went back to it um, a few weeks ago and I'm like, wow, why did I even stop using this product? Because it's so good. I also really love Tarte Shape Tape, but I wanted to kind of just use one thing that wasn't too light and was kind of like my perfect color. And this Medium 1 Custard is perfect for me. Last two things, I got the model's own. It's just the eyeliner duo. It has a liquid on one side and a pencil on the other. The packaging is really pretty, like this ombre look. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I wanted to try it out. I love trying drugstore products and I just saw this and I hadn't tried it and I was like, hey, let's see. That seems really black. And I like the fact that it was a two-in-one. I don't know. Doesn't look bad. So the last thing I got was this BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serena. I have not tried their liquid lipsticks before, so I wanted to test this one out. And it's just like a pretty peachy color. I don't think I've tried these. I could be wrong. Ooh, it's very pigmented. So that's it right there. Ooh, that's my kind of color. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter my giveaway down below. You can read all the rules if you're interested in the description box. Very easy. Just make sure you subscribe to both of my channels and leave a comment down below letting me know what you like the most about this video and how I can contact you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>